there we're here to get into this money get into this bag and i'm here to give you everything you need to know the tea the vendors honey the pricing the secrets everything so you can start your candle business and be successful in 2024 honey because we get to this bag we get to this money honey okay mm-hmm all right so further ado let's get into this video i have any questions link them down below all links all vendors everything i list will be in the link in the link in the description box below that's where you'll find all that stuff well for you let's get into this video thank you okay first things first you want to start a candle business great fine if you're coming and watching this you already should have your candle name picked out and kind of have the idea that you want to start a candle business now you need to find your aesthetic aesthetic is basically kind of like what's the vibe you're giving off are you giving sleek and slim very simple are you giving fun and whimsical are you giving sexy are you giving sexual what are you giving to your customers what's your brand let's start there okay my brand will start for me for example it's wix and whiskey my brand is to mimic alcoholic drinks there's some of my candles right here our sangria and then our royal peach they look like drinks they go with my brand if that's something you want to go with or are you trying to do something more like bath and body works be simple be sleek are you trying to do something like that that's your aesthetic so go on pinterest i will say this first go on pinterest and type in candle aesthetic and it's going to come up with a plethora of candles and their vibes do you want it to be more realistic or trying to do cereal or trying to do more food are you trying to do bro keep it simple keep it sleek what's your aesthetic start there and from there you'll kind of know where to go so find your aesthetic that's what we got to do and it has to match your name or go with your name and kind of like be a compass up your brand and your logo and your colors and things like that so find your candle aesthetic first make a little pinterest mood board and then we're gonna move on to the next step of how to successfully do your candle business okay all right all right so step two you know what kind of candle thing you want to do you're either mimicking maybe after bath and body works and you're keeping it sleek you're maybe doing something kind of fun and whimsical with maybe fruit looking candles or food looking candles or desserts or maybe you're doing candles like mine and like drinks bad now you need to find out what wax you're doing what it comes down to it is either gel or soy wax one of the two gel or soy gel wax is this jiggly kind of wax that i have that is kind of jiggly to touch and gives kind of like a different whimsical kind of look or your standard candle which you will find at bath and body works walmart target is this this candle is soy wax this is a soy wax candle. Soy wax is usually made out of soybeans. Now, what I will say, not to shade on Bath and Body Works, their candles are not very good. They usually do paraffins and toxins, so be careful of that. But you're gonna use do gel or soy wax. So if you see a candle that is white like this on the inside, nine times out of ten is a soy wax, or maybe sometimes people do use beeswax. But I will say, pick what kind of aesthetic you're going for and from there do gel or soy now once you do gel or soy you're going to narrow down of what kind of wick you want to do now the wick this is a wick this is a thing on the candle the thing you light so i use a zinc and a in a uh, wooden wick um and i'll show you what it looks like in a second just one more okay so you have your standard like cotton wick or i have a wooden wick or a zinc wick zinc has a metal and it's lined with cotton on the outside and then in the middle is metal um and that's what i have so basic wick is going to be cotton wooden zinc um those are the basic ones now when it comes to wax soy is usually going to be using a cotton wick typically okay um now or you can use wooden as well but soy is more versatile soy i feel like it's easier to work with when you're trying to do a candle if you do gel like what i'm doing it's a little bit harder i'll tell you some time and let you know a little secret for gel for my candles to work i use a wooden wick and in the middle i i put a zinc wick so it doesn't die out so it's double wicked some people just use a zinc some people just use wooden i double mine so the burn is even and it lasts longer that's just for me typically with people when they have a soy candle they'll have this cotton wick and basically when you have a candle um you're gonna figure out okay based on 
the container you're using, how many wicks I'm going to need, and things of that sort. And that's how you get your base supplies. Now, when it comes to buying supplies, I would say do not, do not go on Amazon and get one of these candle making kits. I'll put a picture on the screen. Do not got, get one of these. I'll tell you where I get mine. Now, if you're going to get gel wax, I get mine from Michaels. Michaels always has coupons. If you have a, um, or if you go on the website, they always have a 20% off coupon. And if you make an account, if you spend, I believe after you spend like 50 or something dollars, you get five and $10 reward. So I hardly ever pay full price for my gel wax because like I said, Michaels always has coupons. Um, that's where I get my wax from is Michaels or or you can go on Amazon and get a big thing of gel wax, but I will get mine from Michaels. Um, it's just easy and it you know can be shipped to you, and or you can pick it up in the store from the Michaels by you. Well, soy wax, you can definitely get that online. Um, I will put some pictures on the screen of where you can get them from. Amazon does have some, but Amazon, you're gonna uh, it's like a bag I get, um, and it's called soy wax with made out of soybeans. Um, Michaels has soy wax, Hobby Lobby sells soy wax as well. Um, another one's got things called Misky, I believe it is, has wax. Wax. Candle Science is a good vendor to use um, for wax as well. Um, it really just it depends on your price range. Um, I will say obviously Amazon will be cheaper when it comes to testing out. So I'll maybe start shop with Amazon and get one of the bags that I'm going to post on the screen of what I say for Amazon. What I would say, do Amazon get a soy, soy bag from there. Um, and then Candle Science is a little bit more expensive, but I think you get a little bit more from Candle Science as well. And Michaels has um, soy wax um, as well for that. Um, then you'll need to get your wicks. You can get wicks really anywhere. Um, I got my wicks, the widow wicks from Mixkey, I believe is what the website is called. I'll put on the screen. Um, the cotton and zinc wicks, you can get a big bag of these on Amazon.com in all honesty. So certain things I would get on Amazon, some things I wouldn't. What I say when it comes to making candles, don't get a candle making kit. Buy everything individually because you don't know what kind of wick you may need depending on the wax you need. You know what I'm, see what I'm saying? So I would get your soy wax and then from there type in wicks. Type in cotton wick. Type in wooden wick. Wooden wicks sometimes have a crackly type of fit vibe. So if that goes with your aesthetic, you would want to get a wooden wick. Um, the cotton wicks are pretty simple. They come usually with this little metal piece um, and you can hot glue that to the bottom of your um, vessel and start from there. So now we know what aesthetic we have. We know what kind of gel or what kind of wax we want to use. We know what kind of wick we want to use. And then next we're going to go to our fragrances. That is the next step on making these candles. So when it comes to fragrances, I would say when you first start out is to come with three, three scents you want to do name your sense and your sense probably go along with your aesthetic or your name so are you doing something that's fun something that's a little bit fruity something that's florally something or woody something citrus or are you trying to mimic after well-known brands that's also a tactic you can use as well for me my candles are drinks so I have one that's a strawberry Hennessy drink. I have a pina colada drink. I have a frosted tequila drink. All those drinks have to now mimic a scent or a fragrance that I can find out in nature. You see what I'm saying? So like my, my pina colada drink, my pina colada candle, this candle needs to have a coconut scent in it. Hello, like you know, that's how that's how really you're gonna do it. I'm gonna have my um, royal peach one. It has to have some kind of peachy scent to it. Find a peach scent. When it comes to scents, I will honestly say, um, candle science. That's my go-to. Or nature's garden. Nature Gardens has a plethora of scents. And Nature's Garden also has scents that will mimic big known brands. So if you want to do one that maybe sounds like that smells like Guilty Gucci or smells like something from Victoria's Secret or something that smells like something from um, Bath and Body Works, Nature Garden has a lot of fragrances that mimic big own brands that you can make into your candle. Um, so I would honestly, um, mm, parched. Ooh, Lord. Ugh, little tart lemonade um i will say nature's garden is a good place to start or um candle science 
other thing about candle science they always throw in a free mini um fragrance you can try so you can start with them um candle nature's gardens there are things come in these little bottles like this and then candle science comes in like this i typically always do 16 ounce bottles um with my fragrances but they do have smaller um ounces you can do so you got your fragrances you i would say three when i first started out i did um my my first three were um strawberry hennessy i did royal peach and then i did a sangria i started out with those three and i went and found um scents that smell like that um and i would say do the same thing if you want to do um a strawberry pound cake scent you just find obviously a scent that smells like strawberries this doesn't have to smell like pound cake but strawberries so i would say candle science and nature gardens are the first things to go i would say don't get those little um tubes of fragrances that you see in the store those are essential oils those are different than fragrance oils um when you're in the store like michael's i would say don't do that also um amazon is not a good place to shop for fragrance oils i feel like i've used those and those are not as strong um when it comes to testing out your fragrances and next step is going to be testing when it comes to testing you're going to need to know obviously how much to put in your candle when it comes to like how much wax you're going to need how much fragrance oil you how hot you need to get it it's a lot of testing that go on and that's the next step you need to do i would say when it comes to testing um i'll have a chart um you can download in my comment in my description box and it'll tell you basically based on how big your vessel is how much wax you need to use and then how much fragrance oil you typically you want to do 10 percent, and it's a chart you can use so obviously um of a 14 ounce candle i'm going to use 10 percent it's going to be fragrance oil this is a safety thing you don't want to blow up your candle or to catch on fire or whatever it may have you 10 percent may not seem a lot but it is definitely enough uh, with candles soy candles they have to sit for at least 24 to 48 hours for them to kind of get some kind of um what do i want to say for them to be kind of hardened because gel candles never really harden on the way they're kind of jiggly like jello soy candles on the other hand i know they have to sit for a lot longer for them to fully be hardened on the top um so with testing testing can take weeks and days at a time so with that just be patient with that you got your candle name you got your kind of wax you're going to use you have your wicks you want to use you have your fragrance oil it's time to test um and with testing you need to know what kind of vessels you want to use candle science has great vessels um michael's um really anywhere can you can get vessels from those two are really top good places um hobby lobby has vessels and um actually if you don't know any vessel if you even like want to do a glass container i don't know what glass i want to use if the glass you are getting in the store says it is safe to go in the dishwasher nine times out of ten is safe to use for testing nine times out of ten i will say that these i got these are these are um real glasses that i got at the store that you can drink out of obviously don't drink out the candle okay um but these are glasses that are thick enough that i can use to test out my candle you can start that way with testing but with testing i would say you want to use the real thing so if you want to use a frosted vessel get a frosted vessels i've got these vessels off of amazon um they come in a big pack for like 30 bucks i believe use this test it out and see how it works you want to see how your wax and your wick and your fragrant oil all work together in your container because when you sell it you want it to work right so you want to use everything you would use to sell to a person you want to use at home for yourself to make sure that they really do work um and then you're good to go testing can last a few weeks um a few months honestly sometimes um but it's really about consistency don't give up it's really not that hard like i said if you use the tips that i gave you and use the vendors that i'm saying it, it you know you, you'll be up to a good start all right and then from there you're like okay i got my candles expanding i felt like you should always think about expanding do you want to use wax melts do you want to make air fresheners do you want to make freshies what do you want to do with your candle business besides make candles i have wax melts which i will show you give me just a second okay so when it comes to expanding what do you want to expand and what do you want to do i've made 
donut wax melts. These do so good. Um, and this is using a soy wax. I really do love these. I have like, let me see. I got like a little pumpkin for Halloween time. I got, oh my God, it's so cute. I have a waffle wax melt. It smells so good. Do you want to make wax melts? They go with your candles, they go with your thing. Do you? My friend Adrian, she makes um, little air sprays. Fruit Loops, it smells so delicious. Do you want to do air sprays? Do you want to do regular wax melts? Do you want to do car fresheners? Do you want to do air fresheners? What do you want to do besides candles? Because um, most people start on candles, they do really good. But think about expanding. What else do you want to do? I make candles and I make wax melts. What do you want to do? And then, honestly, when you get it down packed with the candles, it'll be easy peasy to start the next step, which will be the fragrance, which will be the sprays, which will be the wax melts, things of that sort. Um, and then there you go. I feel like, honestly, when it comes to making candles, really give yourself a good month or two and honey, you're ready to go. I would highly recommend you join a Facebook group. Um, I've joined plenty of Facebook groups. Um, just go on Facebook and search um, candle makers for beginners, soy candle makers, gel candle makers, um, candle maker experts. Just join a Facebook group and I'm telling you, it's literally like a Google search page for candle makers. Um, search what kind of vessel should I use? What kind of wax? What kind of, any questions you have after this video, I'm ten times, nine times out of ten, they're gonna have them answered in those Facebook groups. Them Facebook groups are gold for finding out answers, for you know, saving time on testing, saving time, saving money. Because people in there are gonna let you know, hey, don't don't buy from these vendors, buy from these vendors. This is where I get my stuff from. I have this for sale. It's a gold mine for answers. A lot of people sell ebooks and sell, you know, Zoom meetings and Zoom classes. Do not waste your money. And buying nobody's ebook and joining nobody's Zoom class when I'm giving you all this information for free. It's on the internet. Literally. I didn't pay anybody to teach me. I taught myself. I learned from these Facebook groups and that's how I'm able to have a successful candle business. Um, and that's really that. I really hope this video did help somebody. Um, it's it's, it's a long run it's a lot of money i spent thousands of dollars trying to launch my business and get it to be successful and i'm still you know investing investing to this day i'm three years into my candle business and um i love it i've made a lot of money i've made a lot of friends i've made a lot of good connections and i just have to say you know if you this is something you want to do i would say start now um because honey but we about to be in the second quarter of this year already okay so go ahead and start that candle business if any questions let me know my dms and inbox is always open for questions i'm always here to help um and if you want a deeper detailed video about how to maybe make a candle Candle, what it does to test a candle you know what should I do I have no problem making that video as well um just know that I love you and so does God you guys have a blessed day bye